It's time to check that email. How Neil feel, what pinky thinky, where the fans stand about the dynamic of cosmopolitan single women and the, quote, gay best friend. I don't think that's cosmopolitan, by the way. I think that's yeah, universal. Everybody has a gay best um, friend. I'm going to start out by saying that I'm all for equal rights and I don't think gay people should be treated any differently, exclamation point. However, Uh-oh. I wanted to weigh in on the gay best friend. I live in San Francisco and I'm now married, but when I was single, I dated a couple girls who... With hard parting, outrageous, larger-than-life GBFs. In one instance, I was pretty serious with a girl. The, J- the GBF got jealous and totally started sabotaging our relationship. He started acting like a total dick to me. Oh my and God. then kissing me in the face. I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> trying to twist my nipples and grab my dick to make me uncomfortable. When I told him to stop it or got upset, I got accused by the girl of being homophobic. Oh, we broke Lord. up in part because it became clear to me... It became clear to her that I wasn't going to be best buds with the GBF, and that was a deal breaker. Um, I've noticed a couple things here. Aggressive gay dudes never seem to get me too unless they're Kevin Spacey and trying to fuck a kid. Perpetually single, straight, super liberal girls, there's a type here, yes, especially there are. in San Francisco, seem to use the gay best friend as a crutch and seem to prefer living out a will and grace type fantasy as opposed to getting too serious or committed to a dude. Cosmopolitan single chicks advertising having gay best friends the way Neil advertises no black dudes. <laughs> you motherfuckers. It's all codependent. Zing. I'm Mexican. We're the most publicly oppressed minority right now. I don't know if I agree uh, with it. In no, fact, no, I no. Uh, I will disagree with that. And no one ever advertises that they're friends with me. What the fuck? <laughs> That's true. That's you're right. People are never like, I got a Mike. Actually, I do because I grew up in San Jose and there's a lot of Mexicans. So like a lot it's of our a valued. Friends. It's valued. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. But it's like, I grew up with like around Tagarias and like my friend, shout out to Jesus. Uh-huh. Um, that's like my brother. And I don't know. It's, There's uh, 15 guys in the Bay Area named Jesus. Just, <laughs> only 15. Just uh, honk their 15. horn listening to the podcast and La Cucaracha came out. Hooray, shout out from Bianca. No, but it is interesting because like, uh, like some people meet my friend Jesus or whatever, like mm-hmm. my my homies from the Bay. And it's like, I think they don't think in the Bay, I don't think you realize how close, like like in LA, Mexicans and Mexicans kind of kick with themselves. Yeah. Unless you're like a, what is it? A Morrissey more Mexican. If you're a Morrissey right. Mexican, then that's fine. But it's very yeah. segregated. Anyways. Uh, like, they, the what about the gay thing? Here's the thing. One, I saw. Well, hilarious. the thing I would say to the Mex- to before, let me be racist or Mexicans for a second. Okay, he wants to go. If I can, he wants um, to go. Be more interesting. <laughs> That's what I would say. There are no, there are many big black movie stars. There are no big Latino movie stars. Not that like. Ma- that there's that no hard. Denzel. There's no Will Smith. There's no. Um, Sam Jackson, there's no Michael B. Jordan, there's no, and I, and obviously there's white movie stars because it's a yeah, largely it's white, white society. It's white world. Uh, the upside of slavery was that it made black men incredibly compelling. <laughs> Again, you want to be, you want to be Don't named Rob, yo, you want to come into my circle, you want into right. my circle, you want hip invent a hip, invent a style of music that I can, that's in the English. <laughs> okay, um, you uh, oh my god! Again, no, if you up. if you're saying how do I get name dropped, I'm telling you, be compelling to look at, uh, and and think think abstractly like the the average black dude does, and um, and uh, step your game up, step your cultural game up. Oh, you, I can't believe that you won't get on board with this well, after because, what okay, you said about gypsies. Here's the thing. In South in South Bay, which is San Jose and that kind of area, there's a lot of Mexicans where actually, um, what's his damn name? Cesar Chavez like kind of ended his like... Yeah, the, the walk, yeah. Um, so there's a lot of Mexicans. And in my high school growing up, you know, they were the dominant ones yeah. like so you had white girls who weren't like blonde haired blue eyed or if they were they would dye their hair like they courted yeah. mexican 
Yeah. Not because everybody necessarily wanted to be Mexican, but because it was like the closest, like bad, tough thing to do. So all these white girls, because there's a lot of like, uh, a lot of the Northern Mexicans are whiter, you know, yeah. like skin tone. So you have these like white girls totally posing as Mexican, like, yep. like dark lipstick, shaving off their eyebrows, drawing on like Ricks, you know, racial Ricks. identity crisis. They were, there was, I grew up with so Female many Ricks. Ricks. I had, grew up with so many Ricks that white dudes would be like, you know, wearing like long tube socks with like Ben Davis shorts and like yep. a white beater. All the white people mimicked Mexican people for yeah. the most part. So for the me, the Cortezes, the Cortezes. Well, yep. no, that's just cool. But it was like, I saw it. Yeah. I saw the courting that it, for me, it's a little like, I mean, it's not that far off. Like if all the black people died, everybody would be a Mexican. The next, interesting. next, next, that's next it. You're probably, thing. I was thinking as we were talking about this, like who would a white girl be more likely to date an Asian dude or a Mexican dude? Mexican. Yeah. Um, By I lunch. think you're right. Which I, yeah, they're next up. They're next up, but 13% of the country's black. So you got your work cut out for you. <laughs> uh, you might want to start putting, um, making your food less healthy. <laughs> Stupid ass. Mexican food is not the healthy. Um, and I know it's not, but it could, it's not soul it food. Get, no, it's not. It's you're trying definitely. to kill black right. people off. <laughs> um, you'll, uh, all right, we have, we're running out of time. So let's oh, get fuck. to, well, what do we think of the gay best friend? Uh, I think gay guys get away with murder. Yeah. They're having a blast. Also, I read this shirt and it was like, um, wait, white girls impersonating black uh, no, white women impersonating gay men impersonating black women. Yeah. And I was like, they get away with yes. pillaging and raping all. Yes. I mean, culturally, yes. not really. Um, it's just kind of like, they're fun. It's fun. They they're fun. fun. It's fun. It's Same light. Thing. They're they're like the meanest people in the world. They got black privilege. They got a little black. Yeah. Like how black people have the thing that we talked about in another episode. They have a yeah. little privilege. Like gay people got it too. Yeah. They get a little... It's a little privilege. Maybe it's white. Maybe it's something else. They are an oppressed group for sure. For sure. Um, and but they're fun to watch. But Compelling. a lot of them are white males. Of course. So there is this still white. The dominancy. white girl. The the best friend thing. It just it it gives women. It's again. Mark Norman had a. I don't know if it was a tweet or if it was a. But if a if a white woman likes something like i like a guy over six two get it and then gay guys are like get it girl i like men over six five and hairy and and there then the girls are like get it boy and then a white guy's like hey i like uh girls with big boobs are like you fucking pig <laughs> you fucking piece of shit uh there is a thing where i don't know the difference between ego and it i always get it confused but i feel it, like uh it ego super ego right i think gay guys are they're like women with male sexual aggression and male sexual urges. So yeah. it's like, 100%. and part of it's like women like hanging out with gay dudes because there's no competition and the woman becomes like a God because she's right. the only actual, the th the only thing that they all want to be right? or whatever. I'm yeah, fucking you know, I, we wildly, know this is a, as big saying. a blanket as I've ever, as I've ever uh, right. stated. Uh, this is a huge, this is an AIDS quilt of blanket statements. Um, and, uh, Charlie Shane. and, uh, so I think that's why, and then they like the fun and the sexual freedom of gay guys and thinks it's like, it's fun and risky and da, 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 And I wish I could do that, but I cannot bring myself to do it. This is how do you feel? Tell us how do you feel, Neil? This is how do you feel? Tell us just how you feel, Neil. Feel. You know the deal, gotta learn just how Neil Brennan feels, he keeps it real with his comfort.